What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. Today's video is going to be going over how to run comps or comparables using PropStream, which is a very cool uh, software I've been using lately, and uh, it's been making the business move uh, actually a lot smoother and a lot quicker. I want to let you see uh, an example on a, a property I'm actually working on right now. Let's see here. I was getting ready to do it, but I said might as well make a video out of it so someone else can see exactly how to do it. So uh, the property I wanted to run the comparable for was this property here because I looked it up online and I saw that it was, um, let me see here. I want to search it real quick. Yeah, when I looked it up on Zillow, I saw that they had it listed for 97000 I said, hmm, is that too high? Is that too low? I don't know if that's a good listing price, but it, it might be. So I said I was going to run the, the comps here on the uh, actual PropStream software, which there will be a link in the uh, description of this video to get you a seven-day free trial on this system. It's really great, and I uh, just want to let you know how this works. So basically, um, this is the property here. 745 Central up in Florissant, St. Louis. Uh, this property is on market listed for 97,000 as we just saw. And um, so what we would do here, you have property details. It shows you all of the information as far as the owners, the property characteristics, and all of this other stuff. Last sale, all of that mortgage information, prior sales, prior to these owners. Um, liens it shows, MLS details. Shows you all that is listed for 97,000 as we just saw. Five days on market, just listed it on the first. Um, the basic property information, some carpeting, and all the other basic stuff, school district, it's just basic stuff. The listing agent, all oh, that's nice. That's basically being able to get the M MLS data. Then this is the part I wanted to show you, the comparables. So when we just click it by default, it shows 37 properties on here, and that's way too many. We need to narrow that down to actually find out if that 97,000 listing price is even in range or even in striking distance. So what I would normally do, it's uh it's basically set this to six months this is automatically usually set to about um about a year but i always do about six months because i want to get a little tighter and then um the next thing i would do is make sure that it's actually not just any listing not an off market any of these other things here pending sold unknown we want to make sure it's a sold comparable so that knocks it down to 13 as you see over here we want to see if we can get it down even more our subject property is a three bedroom, 1.5 bath. So you can put over here minimum bedrooms, three, um, and maximum bath, 1.5. Um, and then that narrows it down, knocks a few away, so that gets us down to 10. What else do we have here? 936 square feet. You can put a, a range of square feet here, which you usually don't want to go uh, more than 10% either way. So I'll say uh, from 800 to uh, 1036, I guess I should say. And you can just get close on this because like I said, 10% either way. So I'll just do uh, 836 to 1036. That knocks it down to six properties. And then if, um, if that doesn't get us close enough, um, you can look at the year built, 1960. All of these properties here were built in the 60s. So, you know, in one year, two year, or three years apart. So you can use any of these properties here as an actual comparable sale. And as you can see, um, these properties, this one here sold for a 3.1, a little bit bigger square footage, sold for 105. This other one here sold for 120. Why did that sell for so much? I'm not sure, because that's actually the highest one on here. And as you see, it's a range from 120 down to the lowest one of it looks like about a uh, 93 and they listed at 97 so it looks like it's pretty close and this even shows the distance shows the amount per square footage and you can actually click within one of these to get closer so say if we want to say why wow, this one sell for 120 and you can pull up the property detail on that specific property as well if needed just to do more research but um actually let me make sure one more thing uh was that was these a uh, one story? That's the other thing. I want to make sure this is a one story max because our subject property, if you go to the property details here, 
um, let's see here, number of stories over here says one. So we don't want to compare it to a two story house. We want to make sure we're comparing it to a same as much as we can to the house that we have. So we have a one story house. So um, over here in the search parameters, you put on your maximum of one story. And let's see, does that change anything? It didn't change anything. So all these are one story. So this just shows this, it sells from a range of 120 down to the lowest of 93 and a half. So I mean, it looked like it's priced about right for as an MLS listing. So we know that it should sell somewhere in that range. You know, these may have different things like, you know, um, certain things that make a little bit of difference, granite countertops, you know, tile, all this other stuff, higher end materials, higher grade materials that may get the numbers up higher. So um, basically that's how you would run comps on this property. You would, uh, you can see here that it's like I said, between 93.5 and 120. So you can average those out if you want to, to get an average price and uh, that'll get you a number. So that's something probably that that real estate agent did to know to list it for about 97. So it's priced just right. And it already got six saves over here on Zillow. And it's a beautiful house, as you can tell. It doesn't look like it need anything. It needs a new owner, maybe even you. Maybe update this bathroom a little bit, but you know, it's a house. It is what it is. Kind of plain Jane, but you know, beautiful. Someone will move in and they'll have this thing sold probably within the first month, I would think, because it actually even shows that on the system here. Um, average days on market, 71 days. So on average, it should take, you know, somewhere between that, between now and 60 to 70 days to sell that puppy. So that shows you how to do it. And like I said, this prop stream is a really good service because I'm going to give you another quick look at what else it can do real quick and real brief. Uh, it shows you all the MS list. MLS listings, 39,000 in the St. Louis area, pre foreclosures, auctions, foreclosures, meaning bank owned, 20,000 plus cash buyers, houses with liens on them over 7,000, vacant properties, high equity. And once you go up here, you can go into uh, breaking that stuff down even more. Breaking down the property characteristics, single family, multifamily, land only, um, down here, MLS status. If it's on the MLS active contingent, failed, pending, all of that good stuff. If it's even on market, yes or no. Um, foreclosure status, if something's in pre-foreclosure or foreclosure, you can put it down to the auction date you want. Say you wanna put it out seven days from the auction date because you know the bank won't deal with you. Um, ownership info, minimum years ownership. You can put five years, 10 years, uh, whatever you want in there to break that down. Ownership type, corporate or individual. You don't wanna deal with an LLC, make it an individual owner, mom and pop type stuff out-of-state owners, vacant properties, if they got a lien on it, divorce, bankruptcy, uh, equity, and this other one down here is another one that I like. You can put in, if I only want stuff with 50% equity, or if I want a stuff with free and clear, meaning no mortgage on it, that, that'd be a nice list to have, 852 listings right here, right? And you can pull up to 10,000 leads per month on this. It costs 97 bucks per month. There's a link in the description of this video that would actually show you exactly how you can get a free seven day trial. Get your free seven day trial, try it out and you'll love it. You'll be hooked like me for 97 bucks a month with all this information. And then you can get up to 10,000 uh, downloads. That's much better than list source, much better than the other software I've seen out here that only, you know, they may charge you 17 to 24 cents per lead. So that's a lot of money. So hope this system helps you out. It's prop stream and uh, that's how you run comps. If you want to have any questions about this, comment below. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'm here to help you out in any way I can. Don't forget to join that Woke Real Estate Investors Group on Facebook. Also, if you want to get contracts, cool gear, or coaching, or other great software that I use all the time in the business, WokeRealEstate.com is the website. Everything you need for real estate, WokeRealEstate.com. Other than that, do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me.